Hi, welcome to Miss Gayla's Kitchen. Today we're going to do a quick and easy cilantro chili butter. It's great on top of all kinds of vegetables, rice or pasta, and it's super easy to make. So let's get started. The list of ingredients you will need to make your cilantro chili butter is a stick of unsalted butter, softened, the juice of one lime, one red pepper, sometimes they say sweet peppers, a handful of cilantro, some salt and pepper to taste, and either aluminum foil or a container to put your butter in. So I have gone ahead and I've hand washed my cilantro and I'm going to pull a few of the leaves off the remaining stems. If you get a few stems in there, it's really no big deal, um, but you don't want too much. And I have, I'm doing mine in just a little bitty food processor and this one is it's not fancy, it's about 15 years old, and um, you do need to do a little chopping beforehand. I've gone ahead and chopped up the pepper, and then I'm going to chop the cilantro up. Not totally fine, but just give it a coarse chop. If you have a really sharp knife, that helps. But if not, it's okay. You're just giving it a coarse chop. So I'm going to go ahead and add my softened butter to the food processor, and boy, this is really soft, but that's okay. Might be a little too soft. And then again, I pre-chopped my um, one red pepper up, and I seeded it, so I took all the seeds out of it, but if you want a little bit more spice, you can keep the seeds in it. It's just your preference. And again, I'm using cilantro for this, but if you don't like cilantro or you want to add something else like a garlic, fabulous. Go ahead and uh, put a clove in there. It'll just be delicious. And then I squeeze the lime right in there. This is not a very juicy lime, so I am probably going to use a second lime. So now I'm going to go ahead and Give it a couple of pulses just to mix the ingredients together. Every once in a while, stop and scrape down the sides of your food processor. And again, don't forget to add your salt and pepper, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. I'm using a coarsely um, ground sea salt and a grinder for the pepper as well. I like a little bit of texture in the spread, but if you don't have it, just regular salt and pepper is fine as well. This is what it looks like after just a few quick pulses with the salt and pepper in there, and then I'll show you a quick shot of it after we've pulsed it completely. And here is the final product in the food processor. This is kind of what it should look like when it's ready to be put in the container. And I'm just going to scrape it off and make a nice little presentation. If I'm giving it as a gift, sometimes I make it a, a double um, batch, and then I put a little cilantro leaf, a pepper, and a lime wedge. And I just, after I've refrigerated, it looks like a little gift. If you and your family like this recipe for the cilantro chili butter, please subscribe to my online cooking channel, Miss Gayla's Cooking Channel. Thank you, and I hope you all enjoy. Bye.